Welcome to YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, September 18th, 2018. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to Morning Dew. And we are looking at images of the sun the last couple days. Those filament eruptions departing. Filament eruptions, quite amazing to see. Both top and bottom firing off. See that large rip. But I want to thank you all for joining me today. We are survivors another day on this planet. And we've had some pretty crazy stuff these last week. It's been very busy. Some large tropical storms around the world. It's been semi quiet for earthquakes. That is all changed. We're going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We did have a 5.3 earthquake in southwestern Australia. Kojunup, Australia, at a 10 kilometer depth. That was late last night. Also had this 4.8 in the southeast Indian ridge. So we're at West Pacific Plate is a rocking big time because the earthquakes in Japan have not stopped following that 5.6 from the other day in Nago, Japan you can see the long line of fours and fives afterwards and then moving north towards the Aleutian Islands 5.4 here in Russia So this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. No forecasted areas today for myself. As we have an increased wind speed to 600 kilometers per second. Expecting some incoming space weather. Here's the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. So all the white rings are the most recent. So you can see where all the most recent action was. And that was West Pacific, Japan, and Aleutian Islands. I want to thank you for joining me today. All of my new friends and family from across the world. Thank you so much. We are over 3,500 strong in 170 countries worldwide. Posted my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Daily videos keeping you updated. But yeah, it's uh, pretty strange. Five point three, Australia. Let's go to weather, and we're going to look at the precipital water map, total precipital water map. After yesterday's anomaly in the Pacific Ocean, and the day before the anomaly in the Atlantic Ocean, we now only have two hurricanes spinning on our planet. When before all this, we had eight. Just saying. <laughs> This is Olivia. You can see just totally destroyed. Watch this. Psst. Man, oh man. What are they doing up there? Over the Atlantic. You can see the last week's anomaly there. Psst. Another little bzzz. And 
Hurricane Helene is now heading towards Ireland, parts of the United Kingdom. You can see she became electrified. You can see the white center. A lot of lightning associated with that as it went into the cooler water. But yeah, we're going to get to a five day forecast here brought to you by Meteo Mike and Meteo Earth. And you can see here three projected forecasts for tropical storms. Florence is almost dead, but still slowly moving up the eastern seaboard. Not much moisture left with her. Watching this really nasty cold front coming in from Canada. Large low pressure center over Greenland and getting stuck over the Hudson's Bay. That's our winter engine, folks. Welcome to winter 2018. Temperatures are supposed to lift up a little bit throughout the week here in Alberta, up to 16, but then drop off again after that. As a large low comes from the north, bringing some more snow. You can see here, Calgary sitting in the hot pocket, all moisture riding right over top. And Super Typhoon Nankut, who's downgraded now to a Category 2 Typhoon, straight into China, and then to India. So we'll see how long Mankut survives. It has already been a 10 day storm. We also have tropical cyclone number one forming in the Indian Ocean, heading north of Madagascar. Not too much to worry about that one. And no new storms forming in the Atlantic Ocean. So that's a good thing. Joyce taking a weird southeast hook not much life left of her Helene as I said heading towards Ireland parts of the United Kingdom in the coming days you can see a lot of strong winds there tight isobars so it will be a very windy and rainy event no more in a day or so whether or not they'll be receiving tropical storm force winds. Like last year, I forget which storm it was called. I believe it started with a D. Again, Debbie, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.